Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer. In today's video tutorial I will show you how to draw black fur with colored pencils. I start by blocking in the undertone. In this case I am using a blue, but it can be any other color such as brown, reds and grays. Once the undertone is down, I use a bit of zested solvent to blend the base color. It makes it nice and even and makes the color slightly darker. Now I start my first layer of texture with the same color I used to block in the undertone, a Faber-Castell cobalt blue. I draw each hair separately while keeping a close eye on the reference photo to make sure I draw the hairs in the right direction. Be careful with this technique though, as it will not be the right approach for long hair or fur, as it will make it look unrealistic and flat. But for short fur like this, it works perfectly. But do remember to draw the hairs by following the hair growth direction, otherwise it will end up looking unrealistic. And you don't want that. I use a eraser to lift the color pencil in areas where I want the fur to be lighter. Then I go over the previous area with a darker blue to mark the first shadows. For this piece I am using the Polychromos pencils from Faber-Castell and the Luminance from Caron Dash. They are my absolute favorites. The Luminance lays down so nice and creamy and has very vivid and opaque colors. While the Polychromos is harder but because of this it keeps the shape well and is perfect for very fine details. I absolutely love to draw fur with them. So now I repeat the process while using a dark indigo blue to darken up the area some more. Up till now I have only used different shades of blue and no black at all. In fact I will use the black pencil hardly at all in this piece. Just about in the end of things. This is because when you use an undertone, you can create a much deeper and richer kind of black. While when you use just a black pencil on its own, that area will look flat and dull. Also when you look closely at real black fur, you will discover black fur or hair has a faint undertone. Like take Frisian horses for example. Most of them seem to have this kind of brownish hue in the fur. Also, there is a lot of reflective light in the black fur. Like with this drawing, the blue in the fur will reflect the background color. To be honest, I find drawing black fur just like white fur. One of the trickiest things to draw because there are so many subtle hints of colors going on in both black and white fur that it's quite hard to make it look convincing and realistic. So now that I go over the darkest areas with a dark sepia, you can see the fur actually starts to resemble black fur. Dark sepia and dark indigo blue are my favorite replacement colors for black pencils. They are just perfect to draw shadows and deeper colors with. So now that most of the dark layers are on, I finally use the black pencil just to darken these darks up a bit extra. Sometimes when I use black, I go over them just once or twice again, 
with another color to give these blacks a bit extra dimension. To create a bit of highlights and some individual hairs, I use an opaque light color of the Luminance series. If your paper has a bit of tooth, these pencils show up really well, even when you go over part which has already quite some layers on them. I also go over some parts with the Delft Blue again to pronounce the blue reflective light in the black fur. Now you see, even though I used the most unlikely colors, the fur on the snouts look just like black fur. And the best part of it is that you actually don't need a black pencil to achieve this look. Well, this was it for my very first video tutorial. I hope it was helpful. A full list of the materials I used can be found in the video's description. Hopefully I will see you back in my next video and thank you for watching!